Now that's some brightness. Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we've got a short video for you that is a shop upgrade. Listen, you all know I'm all about good lighting in the shop. And I'll tell you, the lights that we chose to put in our light fixtures are already burning out. We've only had the shop up and running for a little over a year now. And three of the six LED bulbs that we put in are burned out. So I'm not happy about that. The lighting in here is a lot dimmer than it was. And I want daytime light in here. That way I can film, that way I can see what I'm working on. I'm not getting any younger, my eyes are not getting any better. So I need all the light I can get. So I went in search of something that's gonna really light up this garage. And I believe we've found it in these Glitgate 200 watt high bay bulbs that we're going to install today. These are a standalone fixture that plug into a standard 110 outlet and they are extremely bright. I actually talked to the company and I asked them about getting six of these lights and they ran a model on our garage and the size of it and they said you don't want six it would be too much you need four. So that's what we went with is the four pack of the Glitgate 200 watt high bay lights. And what we're going to do is install these in place of the lights that we have running right now. And I'll show you what we've got because basically I have a standard light socket that I wanna replace and be able to plug these into. So I bought the stuff to be able to convert this over and do this quick and easy. So the install is gonna be a piece of cake. Now guys, you can see right there is one of the bulbs that we installed. We installed six of these LED bulbs and three of them have already burned completely out. In addition to that, we also have some of the four foot light bars, which we're gonna leave in place. I don't think they're gonna hurt anything to have a little bit of extra light like that, but we're gonna leave those in place and we are going to take the four corners, which actually are mounted right where they said I needed these to be mounted. They said basically nine foot out from each wall will cause these high bay bulbs to shed light on every section of this garage. So that's what we're gonna go with. I don't wanna have to take these light fixtures down and install actual plug outlets. So I bought some conversion sockets that are rated for 1500 watts. So our 200 watt bulbs will be just fine in them. But all I have to do is take these, screw them in where I take out the light bulb and I can plug these new lights into these right here and they're already wired to my switch, they'll be ready to roll. In order to hang these high bay lights, I'm actually just using this plumber strap and I'm going to put two screws into it to mount them directly to the trusses and then they'll be hanging from this hanger strap. It's gonna be plenty stout enough to hold these light fixtures and it's quick and easy. What I did not do is any cleaning on the garage before we started this. And we have 8,000 projects going in here between me and Cameron. The truck build, you know, this is a winter project, so it's been sitting here for months untouched. A KX65 with the motor back out of it because it needs rebuilt again because Caden runs it hard. Got the Miata autocross car being built. And something I haven't talked too much about that I mentioned is the <laughs> Greenup County Fair lawnmower race, race tractor sitting over here. Cameron and Chandler are building this and their buddy is going to drive it in the Greenup County Fair lawnmower race. Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead is a sponsor. We gave them some money to get an engine and stuff and uh, kind of help them out. But uh, they've been hot and heavy on that build and that's all of their mess over there. So anyway, garage is a mess and the lighting is pretty poor. So we're gonna see if we can't fix at least the lighting today. Here's what we've got. These come with a nice heavy duty hook. That you just run in, once you screw that in, then you've got a jam nut there. So you can put it through the hook and then the screw will lock it in place so that if it's swinging around or anything like that. And then you also, whoops, have a safety hook that you can hook onto, your, onto a different location or another piece of the strap or whatever. Guys, I'm gonna take you up on the ladder and I'm gonna show you exactly how I connected these to the ceiling so that you'll know 
how quick and easy it is to install these. All you need is some kind of a hook to attach them to and they have all kinds of safety devices to make sure that if you're in high wind areas or something like that where they might be swinging or shaking around, they won't fall down or come unhooked and fall off. So pretty cool setup, really easy. You've got plenty of cord to work with. So I'm real happy with the install and it didn't take very long at all to turn this shop from dimly lit to very bright. Well, that's some brightness. Guys, the lighting in here is great now. I am super happy with these Glitgate 200 watt lights. And if you're interested in picking up some of these for your shop, I'm gonna put a link down in the description, as well as a link to those socket adapters that I got so that you can plug them directly into a light socket if you need to do that. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.